Hi, Haysboro families. Uh, we're very excited that your kids are going to be coming to kindergarten next year. Um, and unfortunately, just due to what's going on right now, we're not able to meet in person. Um, but I hope that you get a sense of what kindergarten is like from the PowerPoint that I sent home. Um, and I wanted to also share a little bit about the kindergarten goodie bag um, that you will be able to come pick up for you and um, your child to get them excited to come to kindergarten. So there's a number of things in the bag that kind of cover a few different um, areas of the uh, kindergarten program of studies. And so just to explain them to you, each activity does come with a little bit of an explanation, but I thought I'd just send a quick video to let you know what they are. So um, in kindergarten, we work on language and communication. That's um, one of the big things that the program of studies focuses on. So in terms of that, we provided a game called Kaboom and the instructor are all here as well as the supplies. Um, this is a game where that you can play with your uh, kindergarten student um, that will help them with their alphabet uh, knowledge, both identifying the letters of the alphabet and the sounds. Um, the instructions are here for you. It's a really fun game. It's also a game that can be used for many other purposes. So if your kids already know the letters of the alphabet and their sounds, you can move on to writing sight words on the uh, tongue depressors or even basic math facts on the tongue depressors. Um, I've played this game with my girls and I have a daughter in grade five and we're doing multiplication facts now using um, the tongue depressors and playing the kaboom game. So it's a really fun game um, that can be used for many different purposes. So that's in the bag for you and your kindergartner. The other thing that we work on in kindergarten are the students find motor skills. So getting them ready to become a, a writer. And so one of the things we've put in there is this laminated sheet with the student's name. We have a block where it says build it. And one of the great ways to work on fine motor skills is to use Play-Doh. So they create the letters of their name in this space using Play-Doh. So this is working on both um, letter identification, learning how to spell their name, and at the same time their fine motor skills. As well, we provide a wipeable pen and they can also trace the letters of their name at the bottom here. So that's one of the other activities in the bag. Gross motor development is also a really important thing, helping children learn how to use their bodies and move their bodies in space. So for that, we've provided just a fun little game. All you need is a dice. You roll the dice and then whichever number it lands on, there's a, a couple of activities, gross motor activities that the child can play. So this is pairing gross motor with also math. So the child's ability to recognize numbers at a glance on a die from one to six. One of the things we included more specific to um, their numeracy skills, their developing understanding of numbers, is this flip it, write it, and make it game. And so the um, supplies for this game are in a little baggie. So you flip the number card, there's a dry erase marker for them to write the number. And then we included some counting bears up to 10. And they can then count out the bears um, to make the number. Social emotional learning is also a big component and a very important part of what we do here at Haysboro School. So we've included the instructions for a game that helps the child explore their emotions, the different types of emotions they might have. Um, so for this game, you need a paper clip and just a pencil. And so if you um, put the paper clip down around the pencil, you can actually spin the paper clip and it makes a, a spinner for you. And so the instructions, there's a few different ways that you can use this emotions wheel and the instructions are included here. And this is just provides the opportunity for the kids to identify and label their emotions and then maybe talk about sometimes they've experienced that emotion or some scenarios um, that might occur in kindergarten and what emotions they might experience due to those scenarios. For example, in kindergarten, if somebody comes and knocks over your tower that you spelt a long time building, how might you feel about that and what might you say? We've also included um, this little storybook that we made up. This is called a social story and it's called I am going to Haysboro School. Um, this uh, is incredibly important this year because one of the things that we might not be able to do is give your kids a tour of the school before they come. So this provides a little bit of a tour for the kids through pictures and words. 
Social stories are a really great thing to um, read to kids who might be having some anxiety um, and some worries about coming to school and leaving their families at home. Um, it also just kind of prepares them for what a day in kindergarten might look like. So this is a story that they can be reading together with you over the summer and hopefully then they're really excited about coming to kindergarten and it doesn't seem so new and unfamiliar. On the last page it says, I cannot wait to go to Haysboro School. And this page is blank because the idea is they paste a photograph or even draw a picture of themselves at Haysboro School. So it's a little bit interactive as well. We've also included this nice storybook for each kindergarten school called The Night Before Kindergarten. Um, and so you can read this with them and hopefully they feel excited um, about coming to Haysboro School. There's a few other informational pieces in the bag also for parents, um, but hopefully that gives you a good overview of what those things are. And again, with each of the activities, there's also um, a kind of a written explanation for you as well. All right, I hope your kindergartners like the little bag that we give to them and it gets them excited over the summer about coming to Haysboro School next year.